Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Angela and we are on day 49 of Drawing Together at Home. Do you see what I'm wearing on my head? Does anyone know who he is? He's got big ears, he's got little antennas. That's right, it's Stitch. Today we will be drawing Stitch from Disney. So grab your paper and your pencils, grab your markers, your colored pencils, your crayons, and let's get started. Now this one's a little hard because remember what I said when you're drawing an actual character to make them look like who they're supposed to be, it's really much harder. So if you get stuck, stop the video, go back, erase it, flip over your paper, whatever you need to do, but don't get discouraged. Take your time and I'm sure you can do this. All right, let's get going. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is the shape of Stitch's head. He's got this really big head. So we're, I'm gonna start up here and we're gonna go around. Okay, and we're gonna make it kind of an egg shape, but kind of bigger at the bottom. And it gets smaller at the top, just like that. See how it's kind of bigger egg at the bottom? It gets a little smaller up here. And now at the very top, let's give him three little hairs. All right, just like that. Now we've got the shape of his head. Kind of looks like a little chicken, doesn't it? All right, let's make his ears. They're very, very big ears. So we're gonna make a big ear here. And he's got like a little cut in. And then it goes down like this. Now you gotta make the ears really big, remember? But kind of almost like a bunny on the side of his head. Another ear goes up here. And we'll make the little cut in down here. And there you go, now you've got Stitch's ears. Let's make his nose, he's got a big nose in the middle of his face. So we'll put it right about here. There we go, there's his nose. And now let's do, let's do the mouth. Remember how most animals I said have the little line that comes down? We're gonna make the little line come down, but Stitch is gonna have kind of a different color here. Just like that. He kind of looks like he's got a big sad face, but it's really not. He's just kind of the shape of his face. He's got color down there. All right, now let's do his eyes. His eyes have three parts to them. So we're gonna do the big part, the colored part. This is gonna be a blue around there. And see how I go on the side? It's right by the ear it ends and above the ear it starts. So let's do that above the ear. Come all the way down and go right up at the ear again. It's kind of almost like a raccoon. It's the big patches on his eyes. All right, now we'll just do those big circles. And then we'll do a little circle in the middle while I'm here. All right, and we'll do another one right over here. Now these are kind of a long shape too. These are kind of like an egg shape. And he doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to do this perfect, remember that. Let's do his body. Now his body's a lot more simple than his face is. So we're gonna draw a line down like this. Do you have that? And then we're gonna put a line down like this. And those are his two paws. Crazy, huh? I'm gonna move this down just a little to make sure that we can see it. There we go, that's much better. Now, we're gonna put his feet. He's got his feet sitting out to the side. You're gonna see the bottom of his feet, kind of like I think we did a panda bear with the bottom of his feet. So we're gonna draw a circle here and a circle here. And then we will connect those over to the body and we'll connect it over here. And then let's go ahead and make a line like that. And then we're gonna skip the arm and go all the way across again and then connect it. See how we stop to leave room for his hands there? And then, hmm, let's see. Let's give him like his tummy is gonna be a different color. So we're gonna make sure that this part is a different color right here. And I think he's got little, little claws. So we're gonna give him three little claws here. All right, there we go. And we'll give him three on this hand. I think that might be, I think we might have him. Hmm. Well, let's go, he probably has some little claws up here too. Now we're done with him, now that we got his little claws in there. All right, and last one, there you go. Whoops, now it's time to color. Now it's the fun part. Now we're gonna do his ears in kind of, kind of this pinky purple. So dig through your crayon boxes or your markers and try to find something about that color. And we're gonna color it in. Whoa, I might have mine just a little too bright, but that's okay. Like I always tell you, you are the artist so you can do it your own way. All right, this is looking fabulous. 
How many of you have seen Stitch? Has anybody seen the movies even? Or the, the, it used to be on TV all the time. I'm not sure Lilo and Stitch is on anymore on TV. But it's a pretty cute, pretty cute, cute part, cute cartoon. Wow, I cannot get my words out today. Okay, we got him colored now. Let's go ahead and take, hmm, we have a very light blue. Let's get a very, very light blue. And we're going to do this part of his eye. Not the, not the inside circle, not the white circle, but we're, or black circle, but we're going to do this part, light blue. So he's only got a couple colors to him. He's mainly blues and he's got the pink ears. And that's it, other than some black eyes. So this one's going to be kind of not too many colors out of your crayon box. All right. Now, can you believe that we are on day 49? 49 days we've been drawing together. I think that is so awesome. And then if you've missed any days, you can always go and find all the videos are on YouTube all together. So you can kind of look at them and take your time and go back. If you like doing one, you could go back and do it, that kind of thing. And let's do, let's do, before I put this light blue away, let's do light blue down here on the bottom of his face. Remember I told you this really wasn't his smile. This was just kind of a different color fur. And then we'll do down in here light blue too. I'm liking him. He's looking pretty cute. When we get all the colors on there, it's going to look just like this guy on my head. All right, now we'll do the next color. Let's see. I think we're going to do... <laughs> I've got to test my colors here and see what colors I got. There you go. I'm going to use this one. This one is going to be his color of his fur, too. Now, this is just a little darker blue. So, like I said, this is a, this is a good time for crayons because usually crayons, you have a whole bunch of different color blues. So, you'll have to put them out and aside to know which ones you're doing first. And if you don't, if you've only got like a certain color blue in your box, maybe you've got a marker that's a different color blue or a pastel or something else. Remember what I said, you don't always have to use the same thing. If you start with crayon, doesn't mean you have to end with crayon. You can use whatever things you want that will make the colors you need. All right, we're getting this. Oh, he is looking good. I'm liking him. Now, can you tell on the camera the different colors in the blue that we have? Okay, there we go. We got his face done. Now let's go ahead and do, why don't we do his arms? Let's go ahead and color this one in. And then we'll color this arm in. Okay, now how about his legs too? We're gonna do these parts different color. We're gonna do those the same color as his nose. Now, I'm not sure, like I said, on the video, if you can even see the difference in the blues. But we did light blue, light blue, light blue, light blue, and the rest in a darker blue. Then we're going to get a very dark blue to do his nose. And we want that to show up, so we want a very dark blue. Sometimes it's very hard when you only use the same color, like different shades of the same color. You've really either got to press harder or anything just to make them so they look different. All right, his nose is on there. Now we'll do his feet, the bottom of his feet. Remember, you're looking at the bottoms of his feet. His feet are kind of pointing out at you. All right, I think we're almost done here. Oh, my arm's getting sore. Does your arm get sore when you're coloring? Sometimes mine does, especially when I'm trying to go really fast. Okay. All right, now our last color, I'm gonna go back to black and I'm using a marker. See, I use pastels and I'm using a marker because that works better for me. So we're gonna leave the inside circle white. So we're going, I'm losing my little hat here. So I'm gonna color in Stitch's eyes. Now I'm not gonna do it really fabulously. I'm just gonna try to get it done for you. Oh boy. Now, you know what? Tomorrow is day 50, and tomorrow is a very special day for me. So we're going to do something very special, because you know what tomorrow is? Tomorrow will be my studio, my art studio's birthday. 
So my, uh, my studio's name is Out of Our Minds Art Studio, and Out of Our Minds will be seven years old tomorrow. Seven years old. So it doesn't that, isn't that cool that on the 50th day, I'm gonna have my seventh birthday for the studio. So join me, because we're gonna do something really fun tomorrow. Something that celebrates a birthday. Now what do you think celebrates a birthday? Hmm, I'll just let you guess, I think. So you'll have to tune in and see what we're gonna do. All right, I am working at it, kids. I'm working at it here. I'm almost done. Okay, now we have Stitch. Look how awesome, awesome he looks. Now, I wanna see yours. Remember, this is a tough one, so if you're having a hard time, don't get discouraged. Just keep trying. Use your eraser, erase what you need to. Use a new piece of paper or flip it over if you need to, but keep trying. Try to be creative and try to just, you're the artist, so it doesn't matter if it's not perfect, it's perfect for what you've done. You're, you're doing your best you can, and that's all it's about. Now, tomorrow, tomorrow, We'll see you for my seventh birthday, my seventh birthday for my studio. And I'm gonna tell you the same thing I tell you every day. I'm gonna tell you to be safe, to listen to your parents, wash your hands, stay creative, and be kind to each other, everyone. I will see you tomorrow.